in red for the British bantamweight title. Kelly, of course, the defending champion, having beaten Ronnie Carroll in January on points to take the title. There's quite a few people fancy that Drew Doherty might just be the man to take it away from him. Very exciting fight in front of us here tonight, Donald. Um, you've got the fighter and you've got the boxer, so hopefully it'll be a very good contest and uh, hopefully it will this and all the crowd. It's obvious already that uh, Kelly's giving away quite a bit in height and reach. But Kelly's one of those boxers who just keeps coming forward, Pat. Yes, little Joe, I've fought him a few times myself and it, it won't stop coming to the last bell sounds. And, uh, I think it's going to be one of those face that will go this is great. Doherty undefeated in his eight professional fights so far. Seven wins, one draw. I mean, with Joe Style here, I mean, you'll, you'll see a lot of this tonight. Um, the short arms, he likes to get inside and um, work inside. Kelly going for the body, going in low. Doherty fights his way off the ropes. Drew's a very good mover, and um, I think he'll try to keep it at arm's length, but as Joe want to keep it in at short range. Good left from Doherty. Nice hook there. I think that shoot there, uh, Joe. his heels there, back in the corner, Doherty's got him pinned back there. Doherty is really putting everything into this first round, and Kelly just closes up, not even trying to fight back. Close the right, and another. Yeah, Doherty's pulling the pressure on here, he's caught some nice clean shots, and um, little Joe's taking them. Doherty looking to be on top. Kelly's face a little red. But Kelly took some punishment there, Joe. Yes, he took a good few shots and he's coming back again. That's typical of we, Joe. He'll, he'll soak up all the punishment and come back with the ten shots. The bell to end the first round. One applause for both boxers. As Drew Doherty makes his way back, sits down in his corner, and that was a very good opening round for Drew Doherty. It sure was. I mean, first round for a British title fight. I've not seen one laugh for a long time. And yes. here's uh, Joe Kelly. He certainly knows he's up against it. So let's see Doherty get in with that right. That got Kelly back, and he just closed up. The catch in the left, left hand here, Donald. There's a left hand here coming up to the head that catches him. A lot of punches going in. A, a lot of them no catching. There the one. Arms. That was the one there, up the middle. So there's Kelly having survived that first round. He looks a little bit overawed at the moment. He doesn't think um, Young Drew here's come and done that to him in the first round. But Joe does certainly start slow. again and he's, he's on inevitable style he immediately goes after Doherty again well, certainly 
fired into action now is Kelly. Yeah, just coming on up to the task. I think the first round, I mean, he doesn't normally start slow, but he's come out and he's won for the task. And Doherty perhaps will do well to try and keep Kelly at arm's length. And that's what he's got to do. He's using that left jab lead, and he's got to use that all night to keep Joel at long range. Kelly again burrows in. And as you said, Pat, Kelly's trying to, to close him in every opportunity he gets. Yeah, I mean, Joel cut, he'll try and keep it at short range, where Drew should actually try and keep it at long range. That left jab, there it goes again. He's got to keep using that left jab. And of course, Joel's got to get inside those jabs and, and work to the body in the head. Joe's tactics, he's, he's got to get the man on the rope so he can't run anymore and keep the, the pressure on him. Well, a lot more determination from Joe Kelly in this second round. Really stung into action by Doherty's first round performance. Yes, I think he realised here he's got a match in his hand tonight. Although uh, Drew's a few years younger and uh, not as many fights as Joe, but he knows he's up against a good opponent. Certainly been a much better round for Joe Kelly. Yes, this one's a bit more even than the first. Drew piled the pressure on, but Joe's coming back into it here. Nice turn from Doherty. Really, that's what Doherty's got to do. He's got to keep it arm's length, and so Joe, Joe's arm is going to fall, Joe's punch is going to fall short. He really has to just step in, pick his man off and, and move away, doesn't he? Yes, he certainly has. Um, he's, he's left jab, he's got to keep it that right in Joe's face. What at stake for, for both fighters, not just the British bantamweight title. I think there's a European title chance at the end of this. Well, Kelly stands toe to toe with Doherty. Doherty comes off the ropes. Finished the better of the round there. It's a fantastic, oh, okay. fantastic two rounds, I think, for a British title fight. Exciting stuff. Can it go the distance at this pace? Oh, I don't know about that. Um, it's really, really exciting just now. And um, the two boys are looking in fantastic condition. And hopefully for the punters, it'll go to 12 rounds. But honestly, I think Kelly that's pretty pretty way back into the fight, though, just standing there exchanging punches. And Doherty did well to survive that little flurry. Well, he came back well as well at the end of the fight, and then, um, as I say, Joe wants him on the ropes to put the pressure on, that's what he did, just done there. There is Joe Kelly. And has uh, Paddy Byrne, his manager, the former well, Cutsman, man, yeah. Manny McGuigan in his corner tonight. His trainer, Bertie Watts, is in hospital with a kick in complaint. No doubt he'll be anxious to hear the result of this fight as soon as it's over. The start of round three. Doherty winning the first round, second round perhaps slightly more evenly balanced. Yes, I would agree with that. Again, Kelly beginning to work at the body, going in low. to take the wind out of his opponent. I see Doc at tying uh, Kelly up when he comes in. I think that's what he has to do. Just tie him up when he comes inside. Well, Kelly's throwing quite a lot of punches, but Doc is taking most of them on his arms. Yes, he is indeed. Either that, he's tying them up or taking them in the arm. But that's what Joe likes to be, inside and throwing punches. But he's a difficult little opponent, Joe Kelly. He's very awkward. Being four feet 11, the opponents that are taller than him, they're punching down the way. They find it hard to hit the target, but normal people are mostly about five, 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 six, and they run away. Well, Kelly caught Doherty with a good left there. Joe looks a little strong character at Bannerway. I think he was finding it a little bit harder to fly with. Well, uh, 
caught him there. Oh, oh, oh. Kelly's up very quickly. Love look to the corner. Short and sweet right hand. What a lovely right hand that was. It certainly brought the crowd to its feet. Completely oh, out of the blue. Joe will come back fighting from this. I know Joe from the amateur days and professional days. He'll come back fighting. Joe doesn't know how to defend. Joe is a straightforward fighter. Comes fighting. That's his tactics. Well, he caught Doherty with a good right. And the left, and he goes again. Great contest. What a fantastic battle weight contest this is. I mean, this is only a third round. I wouldn't like to see it in the 12th round. If it goes that far. Yes. I mean, this pace is phenomenal. Oh, I love the left hand. Oh, uh, just going down, I think, here. Yeah. I think he's hurt it here in this round. Kelly looks a little ready at the face. But again, he fights his way out of the corner. I can't see this one going the distance. Joe's a tough little character, he won't give up. Again, Kelly. He's trying there, yep. Trying everything he has in his repertoire. What a fantastic contest. Good left just at the end there from Doherty. Give up. Ben Kelly. He's trying there. Yep. Trying everything he has in his repertoire. What a fantastic contest. Good left just at the end there from Doherty. Well, a good round for Doherty, without a doubt. There is Kelly, Scotland's first British bantamweight title holder in 24 years. So let's see this right hand from Doherty. There's the one that caught Kelly high up in the, on the head. And then again, that really shook Kelly. Fell into the ropes. And uh, I thought perhaps he got up a little quickly. Yes, I mean, Joe seemed to go up and say he wasn't hurt. But really, the two hands that went in, two right hands over the top, they caught him clean, uh, clean top of the head. And then um, it did hurt him in that stage. So how would you score it so far? Well, I'd give it um, two rounds to Doctor and one even. Start of round three, round four. Well, Donald, we know now Doctor has got the power to hurt Kelly, so there he's caught him again. He's caught him with right hand again. Yeah, Kelly closes, closes down, tries to absorb it. The referee John Coyle from Wolverhampton steps in, brings him into the center, center of the ring. Kelly, though, once again. Yes, Donald, it's a great little batter. Um, Joe will never give up this title. He'll fight all the way till the death. I mean, I know Drew as well. I mean, Drew's a tough customer as well. He'll fight him. He wants his title so bad. It's unbelievable. And Joe will never give it up. I mean, well, that's why we've got a great, fantastic contest here tonight. Kelly just keeps going after his man. A real test of character for Drew Doherty. He won't come up against many tougher opponents than oh. Joe Kelly. I went the full 12 rounds with Joe and I know how tough it is. Plenty of support for both boxers. Again, a little right jab from Doherty. Oh, beautiful. Just keeps fighting back. Tough customer. Tough customer. Great contest. You can see the fans here are loving this one. And Doherty brings Kelly back 
to the corner. Keller's left face swollen up in the left eye. Begin to close a little bit there, Donald. And we're roll into halfway through the fourth round. Couple of little jabs from Dotty, and yep. again. He covers up well at the same time. There you can see right. the damage to Kelly's left eye. Something for the corner to work on at the end of this round. But again, he just goes after his man. It's the only style of boxing he knows, Pat. Yes, I've known Joe since I was 13 years of age, and Joe was fighting that when I met him then. But Doherty's shown so far that he can take almost everything Kelly can throw at him. Yeah, yeah we've seen that Drew can hurt Joe, um, and uh, hopefully the fight does go all the way because um, the punters are enjoying it. At the same time, Donald, I don't, know, I don't know where it will. Could it be a test of stamina for Drew Doherty? Yes, it could be. At the same time, Joe hasn't caught Drew flush on the chin yet, so we don't know if um, uh, Drew can take uh, Joe's full punishment. So the bell to end the fourth round. Four very good rounds of boxing. It's been really entertaining for the big audience here at St Andrews Club in Glasgow. And Drew Doherty in his ninth professional fight, unbeaten so far and certainly showing that he's worth his chance at the title. There is Kelly in the corner trying to work on that left eye. A little bit of swelling. A little cut on his left eye. The bridge of the nose there they're working on at the moment, but the left eye is beginning to swell a little as well. So let's see some action from that fourth round. Kelly again pinned back on the ropes. Doherty going in. Good right, good left. And perhaps Doherty might just have stepped in and tried a little bit more, finish them off there. Oh, okay. Well, I think with, with Drew knowing that Joe's a bit uh, a dangerous opponent, he wouldn't take too many chances. Um, he, he'd want to keep it a long range and he had a couple of blows there at the end of, the, end of that round. So I think he, he just wanted one in points at the moment. The fifth round of this British bantamweight title. Joe Kelly, the defending champion in the black trunks from Rutherglen in Glasgow. His opponent, Drew Doherty from Condorit and only his ninth professional fight. A lot at stake. Not just the British bantamweight title, but perhaps the chance to fight Johnny Bredl of Denmark for the European crown. Yes, I must say, the two boys are in fantastic condition here. Kelly, as he's done for the four previous rounds, just stops after his man. Keeps going forward all the time. Kubrick is shown in Joe's face at the moment after four rounds. Uh, the lower left eye, above the left eye, and on his nose. So hopefully we don't want it, we don't want to see the, the fight stop in the cut or nothing. But because um, the crowd are certainly enjoying this one. It's been four very good rounds of boxing so far. <laughs> Kelly back against the ropes, but fights his way out. Catches Doherty with a good left to the head. But again, Doherty responds, picks his man off. It's a very hard fight, this one. Very, very hard. This one won't go in this round. Kelly looks to his corner. And Joe Coyle decides that that is enough. Two knockdowns by Drew Doherty in the fifth round. And Drew Doherty yeah. is the British bantamweight title holder, having beaten Joe Kelly, the defending champion. The referee stopping the contest in the fifth round after two knockdowns. Well, tremendous five rounds. That was great five rounds. That was for the bottom of contest. It was a great five rounds to watch. Joe Kelly congratulates the new British bantamweight title holder. And let's see the first of those two knockdowns. Lovely right Here's hand. Doherty. Left hook coming. Left the boy. Left hook. Right hand. Bang. There it is. Right in the chin. 
Well, that was the first of them. Kelly got up at nine, looked a little bit groggy. And then, of course, Doherty hit him again seconds later. Well, gentlemen, in two minutes, that was a great four fight. seconds great fight. of round five, the referee stopped the contest, Kelly being in no condition to continue. The winner and new British Bantamweight champion, Drew Doherty. So, another success for the Tommy Gilmer camp. Drew Doherty is the British Bantamweight title holder. Congratulated there by Joe Kelly. And perhaps a sad moment could be the end of the road for Joe Kelly, Pat. No, I wouldn't say that because Joe's a battler. Joe will come bouncing back again. He'll be linked for that title again. I know Joe very well. I've known him for at least 15 years, and I know he'll come back and link for a match after that title. And there's a big moment for Drew Doherty. There's the belt pinned around his waist. So let's see the second knockdown. Talk us through it, Pat. It was a right hand there thrown over the top. They caught him in the left at the top of the head, the right hand at the top of the head, left hook. It was really, it was too much hurt from the first punch. That really, that was a couple of punches there, caught him in the top of the head, really finished it off. He wasn't fit enough to continue. The referee made the right decision. This boy's got a great prospect, a great future in front of him, a great prospect, a great future. I mean, I think he'll go on and win the European title now. Well, of course, that's one of the prizes that he's been promised. A tilt at Denmark's Johnny Gredel. And really, to win a, a, banter, a British bantamweight title in only your ninth professional fight. I mean, going. Yes, it is. I mean, he had a great, great amateur record. Six Scottish Here's ADA the first titles. Down again. Oh, what a lovely left hook. What a lovely okay. left hook. I mean, normal men wouldn't go up from that, but Joe Kelly is such a battler. He got up again, he's still trying to fight on. And that just shows you the guts and determination in us. That was the beginning of the end. Yes, it certainly was. Um, it, it didn't really... I mean, I don't think he really recovered from the first round. Um, Drew came out and put the pressure on him. He came out in the second round, had a go, uh, and Drew hurt him. Uh, the second round was even the third round, he hurt him. We, we knew he'd uh, do the power to hurt Joe, but really that was a tremendous punch, and Joe still managed to get up from it. I don't know how, but he did manage to get up from it. So there is a delighted Drew Doherty at 26. The new British bantamweight champion. And you must be pleased, Pat, because uh, I know you've played some part in his training to get him to this stage. Well, me and Drew grew up together, uh, along with uh, Joe. We've all grew up in the same league together. Um, but me and, Drew, me and Drew have trained at um, Croy now for a 21 years. Um, when my father started us off, Drew and myself, and um, I knew how good the boy was, and um, I really thought this guy can go all the way to be a world champion. That was in the amateur days as well, along with myself. And it just proves tonight, as you say, ninth fight and he's a British champion. Take nothing away from Joe, Joe's a great champion, and um, I'm sure Joe will be coming back wanting to fight for his title again. But I'm really proud this guy done it tonight. I mean. He's re a really, really good fighter, and I think he can go and do it all the way to the top. And another success for the Tommy Gilmer camp. Yes, yeah, the stable is going well at the moment. Um, he's a good string of fighters at the moment. He's young brother, uh, Boyson. He's a great prospect. Young Alec Doherty, Joe McCluskey, Paul Weir. There's a lot of fighters there that can win the World Championship. British titles, European Championship. Good scrap. Where's the half, eh? We can yes. turn one round. Okay, do. Where do you want the microphone in relation to me? And you, want a bit, you want a bit of level from Drew? Drew obviously uh, delighted 
I'm over the moon. I just can't wait to phone my mum tonight just to tell her. Cause after all the years as an amateur, I'm having a bit of bad luck not winning the British title. It was my dream to do it as a professional. And it's just unbelievable. I'm over the moon. The happiest in my life. Was it as hard a fight as you expected? Uh, it's I knew Joe would come all the time, and I knew I had to be... I was always worrying if I'd be fat enough, because I know Joe keeps going. Joe, many congratulations. Was it as hard a fight as you expected it to be? It was, it was harder than I expected. I knew Joe would keep coming at me all the time, and I had to be at my fittest. And I trained very hard for it, and things worked out okay in the night. I'm just all oh, over the moon. Like Happiest night of my life. Is that a very difficult fighter, though? He's very hard. He's awkward as well because he's so small and he's, he's ducking down all the time. It's hard to pin, catch him with clean punches. And I'm just grateful that I caught him with some clean punches tonight. So talk us through the, the first knockdown then. That was the one that really put you in a position to win. Have a look at this. Talk us through it. Well, I knew when I was on the ropes, Joe would try and lunge in with some punches. And as you see there, he tried to... He, he dived in a bit. There it's there, and I just caught him as his arms were up in the air. And uh, I was expecting it, and it just it happened, and it just, I just caught him with a clean punch. Did, did you think then you could finish him off? No, I've seen Joe fighting before, and he, he's got great stamina, and he goes down, and he comes back up again, and he could fight all night. And I, I, was, I was dreading that a wee bit because I knew he'd got up again. But it just, uh, it's unbelievable. Joe, many congratulations from everybody here. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.